so bright i can't see good morning everyone um so this is the beginning of my vlog i've just gotten up it's about 7 40 here in melbourne um and today i just wanted to bring you along on a normal day of mine it's actually my first day off in melbourne because i've been rehearsing for billy elliot so today i just want to get my life in check i want to find the gym i want to food prep um i need to wash my hair so it's wash day i need to take a few instagram photos um and yeah i just really want to settle in and get used to living here in melbourne i personally love melbourne i think the city is just so cultured there's so much life the theaters are beautiful like they are stunning oh yeah i want to show you what i eat in a day i'm gonna do a full video of what i eat in a day but today will be like just a little sneak peek but yeah i hope you enjoy today's video stay tuned i'm also gonna be having a little chat about diva curl a little bit later in the video um so stay tuned for that too really just as i start filming okay guys sorry about the siren in the background i've just gotten back from the gym what's the time 9 25 so i did a really hard session today i feel energized and ready except my legs are very sore um so i'm gonna make some breakfast right now i'm at the moment am tracking my calories and my macros and all that stuff um because i'm getting ready for you know some auditions i love to just stay in shape uh, especially being on show it's really important so i'm going to make a tracked breakfast for you well not for you for my and you guys can have a look at what i'm making look how sweaty i got gross so oh well i just had a protein shake as well i have the protein shakes from macro mike they are vegan um they they've got like good things for your gut and all that stuff so i had that on the way back from my workout so for my breakfast this is kind of a lebanese thing it's called beda laham i don't know if i even said that right where you have minced meat and i'm using turkey breast because it's nice and lean so not breast turkey mince so i'm using turkey mince with and then you crack some eggs over the top um it's a really great way to get your protein in and it's delicious and i mean i've been having it since i was a kid this is what we got anyway i'll um check in with you guys a little bit later i'm gonna eat my breakfast do some work and then i'm probably gonna wash my hair get ready for the day Okay guys, it's been probably an hour. I watched some TV while I ate breakfast and then I did a few emails and some work stuff. I'm about to wash my hair. It's pretty much a mess. <laughs> it always is after the, after the gym and rehearsals. People think I maintain it really well, but sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. 80% of the time it ends up like this after a few days of rehearsals and the gym, which is so fine by me. So I really want to address Diva Curl because i've been getting so many messages on instagram like dms and so 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 many comments um people wanting me to stop using it people asking me to shed a little bit of light on the situation um yeah so i definitely want to address it i firstly want to disclaim that i live in australia so i'm not and never have been in that social space of um the american curly girl movement unfortunately in australia there isn't a massive crowd um and a massive community with the curly girl movement which is something that i am trying to change encourage and encourage more of however i'm not really in that social sphere of the states um and all the curly girl influencers even though i would love to eventually meet all of them they seem amazing and i do watch all their videos um so diva curl has always been something that's been extremely extremely hard to get here in australia and if you do manage to get it it's ridiculously expensive so i've only ever used two diva girl products in my life that i bought back from america last year that was the sorry that was the ultra defining gel and the super cream the super cream like the coconut curl styler so those are the two products i have um, the only two products I've ever used from Diva Curl. I've done quite a few videos with those products. One with my sister. Um, I think one with a Denman brush. One with styling my curls. Maybe three or four videos with the Diva Curl products. There has been so much controversy around Diva Curl because if you haven't heard, 
there is a massive lawsuit against the company. I think over 4,000 people are suing them for hair loss and hair damage. It is extremely, extremely sad. I'm part of this um, group on Facebook um, that a lot of women are a part of and they have been sharing their similar stories after using Diva Curl for years of hair loss. And the photos are horrific. They're they actually made me so sad because as a curly girl, you spend so much money on products, you put so much love and effort into your hair. Um, you really want to trust the brands and products that influencers are um, showing you to use. So I always loved Diva Curl and I always wished I could work with them. I wished I could actually use their products, but I couldn't, which was a blessing in disguise. The results are actually like horrific they're disgusting that so many women are experiencing the same thing the same type of hair loss the same type of um hair fry the frizziness the the dryness um oh it's it's sad like the amount of hair loss um all these beautiful curly women ha have been going through and i really do feel for them because my hair is um such a big part of my identity it's such a big part of my job both jobs my performance job my online job so i really feel for the women who are suffering from this and i want to know i want to make sure that they know they've got my support i'm pretty sure one of the main products that have been causing this is the no poo the shampoo but no poo thing. I never really got on this line. I'm always a person who likes to use a good cleanser, a good shampoo, so I've always used that. Please do your research. I can't speak too much from experiences because I haven't experienced any of the issues that a lot of women have, but also I haven't been using Diva Curl for five plus years. I don't use all their products and I try a lot of products all the time. I'm constantly trying new brands. I've got my favorites for sure, but I'm trying new things all the time, so I've never used the same product for more than three years. Do your research. If you are using Diva Curl, please stop. Make sure you are searching everything that's happening right now. I'm gonna leave a link below to a Facebook group that will give you a lot more insight of what's been happening and you can see all the people suffering, um, which is really sad and you can go and give your love and support to them. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say is I actually haven't used those two products from Diva Curl for months now. I used them quite a bit last year, but to be honest, they weren't ever my favorite products. They did a good job at styling my hair, but they slowly just started becoming products I didn't use often and I didn't love, mainly because they weren't available to my curly girls here in Australia, but also because I just found things that I liked better. So I never actually finished either of those two products. Focus on finding products that you love um, check out some of my other videos. I use heaps of products and because I don't have a lot of information on it I don't want to overshare But I just want to give my support and let you guys know that no, I'm not using it and I don't recommend to use it at this point um, Yeah That was a big spiel. I'm never normally that serious, but I felt like it was really important to address that um, I talked for about seven minutes. Holy moly I'm just on the floor in my shower But anyway, as I mentioned I've been using the function of beauty customizable products. Um, they're really good so far. I used them in my last video and I just wanna keep you updated over the month. And then this is what I bring with me everywhere. Um, I feel like when my shampoo doesn't cleanse my hair well enough, because I use a lot of hairspray being on show, I use the Christoph Robin Sea Salt Scrub. Um, it's amazing for purifying your scalp. If you have dandruff, it is perfect. And this is probably my third tub. I've got the Shea Moisture Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. I love this, it's amazing. Um, at first, I didn't really know how to use it, but it's great, I'll show you. Um, and my John Frieda Frizz Ease Dream Curls Mousse that I obsessively love. Um, this is probably a great cheap option. I've got a few other mousses I really like, but this one is the cheapest and it's great. So I'm gonna use those two to style. Hello everyone. So I've had my shower clearly. My hair's just like been up in this little bun to dry. Um, I'm gonna restyle it, but I've just did a little live on Instagram and I put some makeup on, as you can see. Oh, I can't get this. I'm sorry for the shitty lighting, but this is probably going to have to do. So, my hair's been drying in a bun. It's quite dry. I don't have all my curly hair products, as I mentioned before, all my tools. Um, so, what I'm going to have to do is this. A tiny bit of the Function of Beauty conditioner that I use in the shower. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of that in the lengths of my hair as my leave-in conditioner. 
I've just like re-wet my hair a little bit. I find that styling on damp hair is best. So not soaking wet, but not dry. Um, that's how the products work best on my hair personally. So I use that um, conditioner as kind of like my leave in to make sure my hair is nourished and moisturized. So I'm just gonna pump that. Okay, I feel like I just need more, you know? I need more mousse and I need more scrunching. I'm gonna flip my head upside down. Hold and shine moisture mist. Hi guys, so I'm currently trying to take photos for Swarovski, but I'm really struggling. I just don't love taking content alone. <sighs> it's putting me in a pooey mood. It's fine. So, this is the results. I absolutely love this mousse. Um, it's so great. My hair looks really nice and bouncy. It's a little bit soft, um, but my hair always is on day one. So, Anyway, I'm going to be going to church a little bit later today. I've never been to a mass here in Melbourne. Um, it's a little bit of a trip, but it's definitely worth it to catch up on church because I didn't get to go yesterday so I should probably give you guys an update I'm so sorry so before I ran out the house because I realized that the church started at 6 not 6 30 so I actually didn't have time to eat so I like literally ran out the door got my uber I went to mass it was beautiful um, and then I came back and now I'm just making some dinner <laughs> I'm so sorry today's been like a mess of a vlog um, I don't even know what this is going to turn into, but I might actually continue this vlog to tomorrow so you get to see a little bit of the theatre and a little bit of what I do on a work day. Before I go to bed, I watch some Netflix if I'm not tired. I'm always reading my Bible and I'm for the new year, for my new year's resolution, I wanted to start at the beginning of the New Testament and work my way through again, um, writing notes. So... That is part of my nighttime routine and I try and literally do that every single night and not miss a night. Um, so I'm going to watch some TV and I'm going to head off to bed after I finish reading. And I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So I literally, what time did I wake I probably woke up about 20 minutes ago and I've just been chilling in bed. Um, and all I did for my hair was just take it out of my high ponytail that I slept in and give, gave it a shake. But I'm going to show you today how I like to preserve it for the gym when it's freshly washed. I'm going to go to the gym in my little apartment complex today. I can't really be bothered walking all the way to the gym. And the workout I'm doing today doesn't need too much heavy equipment. So I'm just going to be going here to save time because I've got rehearsals today. And then I'm going to come back, um, eat brekkie, meal prep, and um, get ready to head off to rehearsals. And yeah, I'm going to bring you along with me. I can't show you too much, unfortunately. But I will show you as much as I can, um, and yeah, I'm really excited. So, stay tuned. I hope this vlog isn't too long. <laughs> So good morning lovelies, I've just gotten back from the gym, I did a really good session, feeling pumped for the day. Um, I'm, this is my hair after the gym, as you can see the top really stays intact, it's more just like the roots that um, will need refreshing properly later. So I'm going to eat breakfast and then I'm going to get ready for the day, I'll show you how I refresh my hair. Sorry about the washing machine, but I'm going to show you how I do my hair. So I had a shower, or like a rinse, like a body shower, and I put a, a, a um, shower cap on so I didn't get my hair wet. Um, now I'm just taking it out. This is what it kind of looks like after the gym. Well, I washed my hair yesterday, so this is only day two hair. It's not very um, knotty, which is actually really good. I'm just gonna scrunch that in. Now once that product dries in properly, I'll give it another good shake and that's it. Really? So easy. So I think it's raining outside and I don't have an umbrella at the moment. So hoodie it is. And let's hop to it. I just ate lunch. I'm feeling ready. I've got my tea. And oh, I need to get my food out of the fridge. I've got my dinner in here, a banana, a protein shake and those crackers that I just made. Hi guys, this is Izzy. Woo! 
<laughs> so just in our dressing room, this is my show hair. Um, I look like a child. Izzy's got the perfect belly bun. <laughs> so we're doing our first heck run. I'm very excited, but it's going to be a really long day and I'm already feeling hungry, so I'm going to have some snacks. Hello, lovely people. So I, um, yes, it was really hard to vlog. It's just too hard during shows and tech because um, there's a lot of rules and we are so busy the whole time. So um, I also forgot to end this vlog when I got home last night because I was absolutely exhausted <laughs> like so tired and i'm still so tired today um and we only have done one day of tech Woo! but yeah that's life in the theater i really do love it um but i'm gonna end this vlog here sorry it was a mess an absolute mess i'm not great at vlogging but i do enjoy it so hopefully i'll do some more for you guys whilst i'm here in melbourne and i love you make sure you subscribe to my channel by the way this is what my hair looks like this morning um, but yeah, subscribe and go check out my videos. I love you.